So. Let me trim my mustache. These are things you gotta do, chat. When you have facial hair. Okay. I am back doing some more speedruns of GTA 5, this time the Blitz Play segment, which of course goes all the way up until the end of the Blitz Play heist, starting with the first time that Michael and Trevor meet. Start the timer, good. I of course done some practice for this section, but this is my first full run of it, and I'm not particularly hopeful. It is a difficult, somewhat tedious section with some RNG at the end, but I will do my damn best, obviously. This is mainly just worrying about break boost, which I immediately failed, which is great. Break boost, break boost, break boost, break boost. Break boosting, of course, when you break going over bumps and it gives you a speed boost. But if you fail at it, you can lose speed. The thousands of break boosts over the course of the run really add up. It'd actually be interesting to know the exact amount of break boosts. So the first kind of new strat for me... Ah, shit. Solved it. So this is a different entry to this area, and uh, there's a dive out here which I am terrible at. Get over there! Ah, oh, god damn it. I went slower, but I just didn't dive well. You want to dive directly into the area of the door, of course. So, it turns out pushing Michael here is faster than getting into the passenger side of the car. So, like, if you get into the passion side of the car, it opens the door for him, but if you just push him, he is way faster. Like, you kind of will already be in the car as he's getting in the door. So, this traffic is scripted, but it's, you know, still difficult. I mean, is it all scripted? I know a lot of these cars are. A good way to tell which cars are scripted is to open a mod and remove traffic, because it usually leaves in the cars that are scripted and just removes the random traffic. Can I make this turn here around this pole? Yes, I can. Things are not like they used to be with how this we went ended, chat. You used to rage far more. Ah, okay, that's fine. Okay, gotta prepare myself mentally for this quick cab coming up after the mission pass screen. I do have some decent speed here, I think. I don't think that drive was bad. Dive. <laughs> the grace. Okay, gotta... Okay, I, I got it and I moved this way, good. So, this cab that appeared here was not the cab that I just called, but if I, if this cab didn't spawn... Oh, no, no, but... I can't take the cab that way, obviously, so that's my cab. But had this cab not spawned, I would have taken that one. Got Damani's. Put on sleep mode. What a dumb mistake to make, getting in the back of the cab. The movement I did with my camera and jumping is what enabled a car to spawn there. What I'm really looking for here though is a bike. That was a shit bike. Where's the bike? That's a shit bike again. That's a shit bike over there as well. Fuck, you're kidding me. My first run, I don't get to do the bike strat? God damn it. Basically, I would have climbed up the side with a bike. And gone directly to Dave. There was a bicycle there too, man. Why don't you have modern technology, you asshole? Um, I actually haven't, I haven't driven up here in quite a while, actually. I didn't even practice it. Uh, well, you know. It's not a great entry. I'm pretty sure this is the route that we used to do back in the day. Well, actually, there's been many routes, but I'm pretty sure this is the most recent route. Ah, oh, it's so slow. I know. I'm sorry. Well, I killed her. Imagine this walking like a pleb rather than running up there with a bike. God damn it. I mean, driving up there with a bike. You know what I mean. Davey. Okay. How you doing? He's doing as good as can be expected, Michael. What we got? He's mentioned that to you many times before. Oh, Actually, moving your head here makes you wake up quicker. Fun fact. Oh, so I'm going to sneak around here. You can jump here, but it wakes them up a little bit earlier. I think it's safer to do... The walking there. Don't get on the table, you asshole! Got him. Okay. Didn't need to get the health there, really. Okay. Got a lot of health, won't grab the health pack. I didn't reload. Is that gonna be a problem? I have five bullets. I need to kill these guys, what am I doing? 
I didn't give me the health! Didn't give me the health! Okay. Ha, ha, ha. Why, why did I think I was doing no damage and I actually tried to shoot those guys? I need to shoot those guys. I should have broken the glass and run through to get the health. I, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing there, I'm sorry. Okay, it's fine. Shoot this guy so he hopefully doesn't kill my tile. I actually killed him, wow. I never got him in practice. Uh, well this is uh, a car here. I was, I was looking at the map, so I hit a hedge, that's great. I mean the goal here is just to get to the sewer here as fast as possible. Hopefully getting as close to Franklin as possible. Fun fact, uh, hitting that was not what I wanted to do. What is, wait, wait, wait. I'm awful. I was too busy watching the road looking for brake boosts and then a cop spawns in front of me. This is a huge time loss. What a terrible drive. Imagine playing for 9,000 hours and a drive, just a casual drive through the city is where you lose a chunk of time. My ancestors feel nothing but shame right now. My ancestors being a long line of GTA 5 speedrunners. Okay, clear my texts, uh, get in first person. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, no! Okay, the mistake that I made there is I didn't bring up my phone using my mouse. I mean, the goal there is just to save and load as fast as possible to do a save warp here. And we're doing everyone's favorite mission, yoga! Hooray! Fun fact, in practice, I mission skipped through this just so I didn't have to do it. Maybe I'm rusty with yoga, chat. Maybe, I, maybe I'll lose many minutes here with my poor yoga form. In and out with the breast, Mikhail. In and out, chat. In and out. The only reason you play this game is to do yoga. I understand. This section actually contains most of the boring missions in the game. That being yoga and Sky in the Port. If this also had cleaning out the bureau, it basically put anyone who ran it to sleep. Oh, true, this has mini sub in it as well. So yeah, three boring missions. Hopefully the edit of it makes it more interesting with like explosions and stuff. <laughs> Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Hooray! I survived yoga chat. I reached enlightenment. Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? Push Jimmy! Threatening to molest Bully! Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out. Was that Tanya on the side of the road? Can't have been. Uh, can I just not, not get hit by these cars? That'd be fantastic game. Why is this car turning? I hate you. The feeling is clearly mutual. 57 brake boosts. Oh, says the dope smoking, game playing, live at home, Warlows him a living millennial. What the fuck is Warlows? Warlows living home millennium. What? I've heard that line a thousand times. I don't get it. I don't hate you, Jim. How many Well, I hate you, Jizzle. Oh, world owes him a living. Oh. This is why you need subtitles? Unfortunately, I can't read, so subtitles can't help me. Feels bad. So, I'm calling a cab here to delay Jimmy drugging me. I swear to you, I thought that car was stopping. I was clearly wrong, but that is what I thought. So ideally, I will stop this drugging entirely, but if I don't, at least the taxi will give me some additional time before I get drugged. Okay, yeah, so I stopped it. Sometimes it doesn't let you bring up your phone here when you spam it. Uh, no one knows why, but I haven't had that issue since I came back to the category. See, so yeah, Jimmy won't drug me now and I can just drive back to my house all casual like. Of course, I still have the cutscene where I get drugs because Rockstar does not reward my creative glitching. Is this an actual segment run or practice? This is an actual segment run. Gone for world record chat. Yeah. Rockstar just wants people to be drugged. Exactly. They want to use this as like uh, a message to communicate to kids that drugs are bad and they make you fly through the air in your underwear, or whatever. So that's clearly a bad thing. And so no one who plays GT5 would take illicit narcotics after playing it. Single-handedly solved the drug crisis. So tab movement here to get rid of the drugging effects. 
Well, not get rid of it, but just um, ignore it for a second. Uh, oh, that's a good car. Is it gonna turn? It's gonna turn, isn't it? It's gonna 100% turn. Just don't turn. It didn't turn! Hooray! Tab movement, of course, when you uh, get into combat mode by shooting a weapon and then bringing out and putting away your weapon, which makes you run faster. And in this case, makes it so you're not tricked. Can you just go away? Thank you. I'm still drug driving this, Chad. It's, it's why am I driving so bad? I don't have that excuse in other scenes, but in this one, I'm going to use it. And I'm going to use it to its fullest. Hello, Hello family. Aw. That letter's like, yo, I spent all our money on NFTs, and I feel such shame that I have to leave. Understandable, really. Uh, no. I have autosave on, apparently. That is the thing. So I did a hangout strat here where I'm hanging out with Trevor in order to relocate Michael. Didn't press any buttons there so the next text message will come in faster. Because text message management is very important here. Because certain things only spawn with certain text messages. So you want to remove text messages that you don't want in particular scenes. There's like so many rules for text messages, guys. You need like a degree in like quantum physics to understand it. Don't worry about it. NFTs, more like no fucking thanks. <laughs> uh, uh, hilarious. I do have a degree, but not in quantum physics. We cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Why am I in the room? I have a psych degree, so I can understand like 50% of the uh, text message mechanics in this game. Stop fucking getting spooked. I was going so slow there. Apparently you can go so slow that he doesn't get spooked, but I've never seen it. That's not true, I've seen it before, but I, I don't see it very often. These break boosts suck. They're like invisible. It's clearly not true, but it's hard to remember. There's one there, which I missed. Good, good. There's one here, which I missed, and then there's one here, which I also missed. Good! Good. I did all of those too early, which is uh, exactly what I planned. And then there's this one. I think it's here? I, I, I have no idea where that one is. Other break boosts are somewhat visible. Those ones is just like, you know, you gotta feel it, man. You gotta be one with the force. It was a perfect turn. Good job. Bye, Dave. Bye. So there's actually a strat to skip this cutscene, but no one knows how to do it. It's one of the mysteries of the run, basically. It's a thing where the dialogue gets screwed up, and it thinks you've been on the wall for a long time, so you fail immediately, and you respawn after it. All I'm thinking about is all the risky jokes that I don't know if they're going to go well or not. <laughs> What? That dialogue was dialogue from the cutscene, but it played before the cutscene for some reason. The dialogue's broken. What? Is this because of the mission order? What's going on? 18 inches. Here's 18 inches, immediately breaks the window. Gotta get in on that action. So, tiny new strat here. There's a small little bit of a dialogue skip. Because you can shoot this guy in the leg. Okay, I think I still got the dialogue though. That's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, that, that took three shots in practice. It took one shot each time. Sounds about right. So I'm going to be breaking these helicopters against these buildings. Although one is in a very strange spot. Got it. Okay, cool. So Michael just taking out this dude. Kill him, Michael. Michael! Okay. I'll be honest with you, despite not having seen The Office, whenever I yell Michael, I always think of that weird dude from that show yelling Michael. Okay. Switch as soon as possible. Don't want to press any buttons, though, because that will delay a text message. The FIB down, Lee. Okay. Why does it not surprise me? So there is a strategy here where you rock your helicopter from side to side, and you get a tiny bit more speed. But uh, I can't seem to do it. 
Apparently, it's much harder on controller, which is what I'm using. And I refuse to use keyboard and mouse, primarily because I don't have a numpad. Like, the additional speed is, like, tiny. Look at that pool down there, just in, in a square. How weird is that? So, I'm just trying to take notice of things for uh, GTA Guesser. Oh my god, a building that looks like a dick. Look at that shit. Wow. That's memorable. So, land here, carefully. And I want to fall just near the door. I, I fail completely. Great. Cool. Because if you fall directly down there, it immediately starts the battle. I mean, I didn't want to succeed anyway. Clearly, I want many errors here so I can easily get a PB next run. Uh, okay, that's, that's fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Break boost. Break boost. Get, uh, but, uh, okay. I'm at like a 50-50 for break boost this run, and that is not a good record. So this is curb boost on the side here. You'd think they wouldn't be curb boosts, but they are. Every time you hear a clunk, that's when I get a curb boost. Are uh, you kidding? No, okay, I, I can't beat the train. Are you for real, dude? Ah, oh, bad RNG. You normally turn right there, but I guess I'm turning right at the end here. It's not a huge difference, but it is a difference. So now for the hardest strat in the game. Well, at least one of them. What does a curb boost do? Uh, it is a curb that gives you a boost. Are you... Okay, well, I may have just failed already. Why did I read chat? So, last time I crashed like that, and then I tried this strat, it immediately failed me. Probably because I've already spooked those dudes. But, uh, let's see if that happens again. Are you... I want to go over that game. <laughs> you got to get in here within a time limit or it uh, blocks you off. Okay. You gonna take me to see this freighter? You ever get helicopters coming in? Okay, it didn't fail me immediately. That's that's a positive. Things I can pick up a whole container. So how's a man in a hurry? Ah, you are you uh, Floyd? Please, please. Now what's the Coast Guard response like? Okay. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Miriam Turner overpass. Is that not fine? You don't want to keep walking, my guy? I just said they had the water Whatever. I don't, don't run into the door. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it, everything's good. It's okay. Was that perfect? Yes. Uh, you couldn't do that better if you tried. And then we warp in, because why not? How about I run that prick over uh, obviously, the best place to put a truck is exactly where you're about to drive. Tactics, you know. So this is some wiggle boosting, guys. With some cars, if you wiggle from left to right, it makes you go faster. Why? I don't know. But now for the next hardest fucking strat. This strat is cancer. So I want to pick this up with normal FPS. Drop it here. Lock my FPS to 24. Then push the crate. Okay. I'm losing it. Ah, uh, see, I... Th this movement having to reverse a bunch like this, this is just not good. I need a better way of doing this. So I don't have enough experience with understanding how the crates interacts. So this first crate has to be in the red spot. If I drop it anywhere else, I get screwed. Oh, perfect. Cool. Okay. Beautiful. I'm always nervous when I drop that off. But as long as it's in the red, I should be fine. That strat blew your mind? It is a pretty weird strat. It's a lot of blood. He took no damage. Nice. So this handler moves down faster with lower FPS. I kept my FPS to 74. I never did that in practice. I did it just now for the hell of it. Um, I don't know if 74 FPS is really significant, but whatever. For those unaware, I did once mention in my controversial strats video that the, the idea of locking your FPS to achieve strats was something hotly debated. And n there was no consensus made, but because it wasn't against the rules, people just started doing it, 
and people like the strats that enable you to, you to achieve, and so now it's just stuck. It depends on your philosophy in regards to speedrunning and, you know, your ideas of fun and stuff as to whether you'd approve of it, but it is the lay of the land now, and I think it's cool. I think it should be against the rules if you can't do it on console, or you can't do it on a toaster either, so what? Look at my blood there. Okay, jump. Okay. Uh, could jump there again to get some speed, but I could also fall off the edge. And falling off the edge is not fun. I know from experience. In real life. I died once doing that. Dying, not fun. So I'm gonna be trying to aim my gun at this guy down here. Okay. Because shooting fails you and warps you to the bottom, but also aiming your gun at a dude does the same. So hypothetically speaking, I could have him in the exact center of my screen and then fail the nanosecond that I'm able to bring out my gun. I was slightly off that time though. So this is just a basic drive, but I'm going to be setting up a phone call for later. So that phone call does nothing, except it stores in my phone that as my last phone call that I made. So the next time I need to make that phone call, I can just press star and it will come up immediately. This is because making the phone call here costs me no time, because I'm driving anyway. But making it somewhere else would cost me time. Ah, uh, you... Okay, that was not a great time. I didn't look around for cars! Oh no. So doing some tab movement here. Bit sloppy. Okay, it seems to be a decent car there. Oh, is that a gaunt- is that a gauntlet? You're fucking with me! Holy shit, that's amazing RNG! I- I- I did- I, I need to get in first person. I need to get in first person. Let's, let's not get too excited. <laughs> um, this is like, I know, like a million to one. <laughs> no, it's, it's like a thousand to one or something. On my very first run, you need to get a gauntlet for the final highest, right? And so, depending upon where you find it in the run, it costs or saves you different amounts of time. If you don't find one at all, you actually have to buy a garage and then buy one, right? Getting this gauntlet in a full run would be a, a, a big time save, I imagine. Not, not only because it's a fast car for this section, but because you'd have to get a gauntlet somewhere else. But because I'm doing segments, this gauntlet doesn't really save me any time. Because I'm not going to the final heist. Basically, everyone who's doing full runs right now is like, Oh my god, why couldn't I have got this RNG? And me, I'm just like, eh, you know. <laughs> the reason why I had to get into first person before getting into the car is at the end here, you can't change camera mode, but if you're in first person, you get the dialogue a little bit faster. Um, okay, well, I, I, I was, okay, I thought I had more room to turn there. Okay, that's terrible. Okay. Um, spin. Spin. It's not fall off. Okay. See how he's talking already? He wouldn't normally do that until he was in the house, if I was in third person. So we do freighter. Because why wouldn't we? You're okay. Spin more like roll? Isn't a roll just a spin? Think about it. These are the deep philosophical questions that you can only hear on a Dark Viper AU stream. Uh, so going off here is faster, right? Yeah. Good landing. Yeah, so normally here I'd be like, oh, where's a gauntlet? I need to find a gauntlet. I better go drive to the garage. And it's just like, nope, who cares? I mean, technically, there's no reason to store this gauntlet. I guess I won't, because it would just be a time loss. But I will, uh, explain where I'm storing it. But I do need to make this jump, though. Oh, crap. What was that handling? I just went sideways. What did I hit? I know why I'm trying this jump again. There's no reason to try it again, but I'm going to do it again, because I want to. Had to wait for me, sub, anyway. Okay, well, that's not the exact direction I want to go. Cool. So mini sub spawned, which is what I needed to wait for before I went into this mission. Uh, this is terrible driving. I, I don't just care about your driving, Matt, please. Okay. So normally I'd grab the gauntlet and store it in Franklin's garage there for later, but I don't need it, so it's fine. Again, I don't need it because I'm not doing a full run right now. I'm doing just a segment. This entire drive, I'm largely fucking around, just gaining some speed. I just need Trevor's dialogue to finish. No, I just need- I just need Lamar's dialogue to finish. 
So Trevor's line here was unnecessary. Did I say Franklin or Lamar? I meant, so Lamar's line has to go through. His very first one, all the yellow dot doesn't appear. That's all I cared about. Um, so a part of killing these guys is just to slow you down. So you don't... That was terrible. Reloading there was dumb. Explaining things is so hard while doing them. You slow yourself down so that you don't outdistance Franklin and Lamar. But you also make it so they move up because they don't have to kill the early guys. And you mission fed here intentionally to uh, warp them to you. I clap the clip. Is he alive? He is not. He was bad, man. So now I've got two C4 throws that are kind of garbage. I got it. Cool. That one's less important. It's just so they don't shoot the C4 in my hands as I'm trying to throw it here. You might notice the ocean's completely flat. That's the benefit of patch 1.27. Oh, got it. Don't. Okay. As long as it doesn't land on top of Lamar. Look how flat this is. It just looks so alien. So I'm driving in a way here to not lose them, but also rubber bands, my friends. Going into first person here, which people reckon influences the helicopter here. It spawns to my right, which is good. As long as it doesn't catch up to me, yeah. Oh, oh my god, it almost saw me. Okay, never mind. It wasn't bad. At least it's not in front of me, you know. Getting around these boats. Around these boats. <laughs> that would be embarrassing. It looks like water. I mean, wait, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess it still technically looks like water, fine. But it doesn't look like normal water. It's going far enough away so that many sub spawns. Okay, cool. And now to everyone's favorite mission, mini sub. You guys have a lot of favorite missions. It's crazy. Okay. So the strategy here is called dolphin diving. Where you go underneath and, and then above the water. So the more of your submarine that's outside the water, the faster you go. Unfortunately, you can't stay the maximum distance out of the water at all times, because as you can see, I slowly sink back in. Once I sink sufficiently back in, I'm no longer going max speed, so I need to go under and back out. I'm basing it on like the yellow strip on the back of my sub. Still on pace to PB, given that I have no PB in this category, uh, anything I do is PB. So, yes. What are my current world records other than masks? Uh, I have the world record for... Okay, I'm trying to think of a joke here, and I failed. So, I have the world record for the greatest inability to think of jokes when under pressure. <laughs> I'm tired! Come on! But I have the world record for being killed by cougars the most. So, wiggle boost thing here again. Is that sub covered properly? You can hear I get a boost whenever you hear a clunk. Ah, uh, hello? The fuck? Nah, but for real. Uh, how did that happen? Uh, I've... Uh, fences can't hit you to that degree. That's impossible. It just bent me sideways. I was barely paying attention. This is like the equivalent of like, I know you're, you meet a rabbit and you're like, oh, it's a cute bunny and it brings out an AK. It's just not something you expect, you know? I parked against the wall there to make it so Floyd hopefully will leave sooner. So we need to go to the star here and call Steve for a booty call. Stevie, how you doing? It was offensive. I guess it was. I'm offended by that fence. Clearly that fence was just taking vengeance on me for all the fences that I knocked over during no damage. Getting my vengeance right now knocking down this fence. I am the one who knocks. You disingenuous, dense motherfucker. There's one break boost along here. Like that. Other than the break boost, this is just a casual, nice drive with my friend, Davey. That guy, uh, having a bad day? Know the feeling, man. Okay, could have taken that turn. Well, yeah, better. Just, just better. Make a casual little turn here. Okay. Okay. 
See this scene you've just watched there? That's the reason why they won't let GTA 5 into GDQ. Do you see how gruesome and terrible that scene was? I mean, half of you probably vomited. What is that black car? Hello? So I was told that wedging the car up against the hedge here will have Dave warp out and make this faster. I haven't seen it, and I'm probably going to fail it, but I'm going to do it right now. That's good. Fine work. Don't. Oh, he, I, well, he did warp out, actually. That's, okay, that's interesting. Didn't fail, technically. It did take a while for the yellow dot to register, so I was kind of sweating at the end there. Of course, I know who we're targeting, so I have to shoot them before I even get the information. So we do a jump here. Almost clipped the side there. Are you... no one likes a cry baby. Small mistakes like that fill me with such shame. I bring dishonor to my ancestors. Break boost. Hit a pole. Good. Good. Okay. Failed every single one of these break boosts. Uh, and now I don't have the speed to get any of them. That's great. Uh, these aren't even hard break boosts. 90% of the words that have come out of my mouth this run has been break boost and some combination of oh no I didn't get that break boost break boost breakfast 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 so this route I'm taking right now uh, is because there's an 80% chance for the class of vehicle that tow trucks are to spawn on this drive so it's not an 80% chance of a tow truck but it's like, 80% of the vehicles will be of the class that I want or some shit. I'm definitely explaining that poorly. But basically, I'm looking for a tow truck. Although I didn't look at the very beginning. I probably should look down the streets as well. I am dumb. Especially considering that, uh, the thing hasn't spawned yet. There's a garbage truck, but, uh... I guess I'll grab the garbage truck because the thing hasn't spawned yet. Oh, I am so sorry. Booped him good. Thing spawned? They're so slow! I hate bringing a garbage truck into the mission. We handled your little immigration problem, whatever the fuck it was. We're straight. Oh, absolutely. They're straight, guys. I guess it's better going this way rather than uphill because I can have more of a look for tow trucks. Nothing? Cool, cool. Uh, I think I may have prevented the car from spawning here. Nope, I did not. I succeeded. Cool. So then we park this here. By not getting a tow truck here, it means the route that I take is where I end with the tow truck. The gauntlet used up all my RNG. True. I didn't even need it. So there's a small window here where you can switch to Franklin. The sleep mode is active thing is screwing me. What? Hello? There we go. Okay, sweet. I missed the fuck. There's like, it's like a tiny window where you can switch to Franklin and then you don't have to watch Mission Pass there. I got it every single time in practice. But I'm nervous now. I'm not really nervous, it's just I'm terrible. I'm tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have many excuses. Pick one. Looking for a car that is not the one that I spawn with, because the one that I spawn with is garbage. That's garbage. Um, everything is garbage. Why am I surrounded by garbage? Am I really going to stick with this car? It's awful. I haven't got assassination either. Oh my god, I could look for a car. Okay, here's a comment, which I also hate. How do I not have Meriwether or assassination? Why does this game hate me? Uh, I th I'm, I'm too close to the mission. Yeah, I need to be past this pole. Thank you. Basically, this is not going very well. Why do I hate the comment? Because basically a Beyblade. Handling is garbage. It's like the worst of the fast cars. Getting the Comet means I could have got literally anything else. Almost hit that pole. Man, sorry about that. He is not sorry, chat. He is lying. You're showing off my Mask World Record strats right there, chat. Keep them to yourself. Don't want people stealing my ideas. I do not really know to what extent I should favor brake boosts here. They don't seem that important because I'm turning so much, but... Speed is good. So diving out here saves like a fraction of a frame. 
fun facts. Also, uh, people apparently found out why you get the cops here sometimes. If you start this mission on foot, you get the cops when you kill the guy. If you start it when you're in a car, you don't get the cops. Why does that happen? I don't know. That would have been great information to have had at any point in the last eight years. So I'm going to buy myself everything except the kitchen sink. Because I don't make myself food, I do not need a kitchen sink. I get fast food all the time because I'm a degenerate. Man with an in the That's me, man. It's fine. Uh, this thing, this thing, this thing, a lot of this thing, uh, this thing. Uh, no, uh, this thing. Uh, I probably got all the things. Many of those things that I need. Go back here and turn. Ah, uh, almost missed him, but that's okay. Almost missing a person is better than missing a person, you know what I'm saying? So apparently I do not want to use my power along here all that much, because I'm trying to get text messages and shit. My power slows down time and therefore elongates how long it takes for my text messages to arrive. Spawn Merryweather Heist, you up yourself fucking game. Game! Finally! So now I can take off sleep mode so I can get hopefully a phone call that prevents the soft lock. But that soft lock's at the end of the game, so I, I don't really need to do that right now, but it's, you know, better to get that habit. What? Okay, that was terrible. There was like two phone calls, I think, that you need in the game or your game can soft lock at the end. Ah, uh, okay, well, now I can actually use. No, okay, let's. Well, let's my driving has been awful, and the game hasn't been particularly kind either on that front. Uh, stop. Stop! I just gotta get back into the habit of actually caring about my driving, you know? I spend too long fucking around. So the fastest way to get up these stairs changes depending upon what mission you're going into and what scene. In this case, it is shooting the gun. No, stop dragging your heels, kid. Face. Fun fact, the higher your strength, the further you can fall without ragdolling at that. Okay, I'll just, 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 but, but, okay, thank you, man. Thank you for helping me with that turn. Not really, kid. It's all about what's inside. Doesn't matter what you look like, chat. It's what's on the inside that counts. Your gooey, squishy organs. Without those, you couldn't even live. It's true. Just doing my casual curb boost here, you know how it is. Uh, what? 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 What are you doing? I was about to be like, hey, that was a good spin. It's not a good spin. Did not achieve what I was trying to do there. So I'm going to shoot here immediately and hopefully hit them both. You don't always get them both. Good RNG. So I'm not meant to aim here, I don't think. I'm just meant to run forward and throw. Spam throw? No, okay, well that's... That, I cannot remember what the inputs are there. I am not an em enemy operative. I shot you, but let's be friends. I'm gonna shoot this guy because I'm not gonna risk him fucking hearing me through the wall. Okay. These guys are a lot easier to kill compared to, uh, no damage. Got no double kills, though. I, I, just, I just missed them all. That's fine. It's it's totally cool. I didn't want, I didn't want to hit them anyway. We showing off, really. I only missed to be relatable, chat. Relatability. Increases 10,000%. The benevolence! Boop. 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 Oh. Need to wait to shoot this last guy until he's close. Here we go. If you shoot these guys too early, Michael stops for some reason. Didn't know that, but I learned that recently. Cool. On 1.27, that detonation is the first thing in your phone. But it's not on newer patches. That's one more way that 1.27 saves a little bit of time. Right. Just casually picking up a nuke, you know how it is. 
is not actually a nuke. It's a nuclear seismic reactor or something, right? I don't know why they were concerned about giving this to the Chinese, though. Like, China already has nukes and shit. Seismic suppressor. What is China going to do with this? Like, they should have just sold it. I guess their main concern, though, was that they were going to be on some FIB watch list or some shit. I don't know, man. It's just, it's just so contrived that they uh, collectively decided just to give up their spoils. There's no point doing Dolphin Strat here because the uh, device is too heavy. Okay, so we're switching to Franklin here to end with Tow Truck. I didn't get one before. The best RNG you can have is to have a Tow Truck right here. Where's my tow truck, game? Fuck you. Here would also be fine, game. The optimal strat would just be to drive to the meetup point and just expect to find a tow truck somewhere there. But obviously you can't do that. Boo. Consistent strats. I'm not an asshole. Even though I killed this innocent man, that doesn't make me an asshole. These were the opportunities I had. At least I took them. It's funny because the thing they said in the game. Am I the best GTA speedrunner? No. No, I'm not. Hey, look, a tow truck. Where were you like 10 seconds ago? I am something better than the best GTA speedrunner. I am the most Australian GTA speedrunner. And no one can take that away from me. The other runners wish they were as Australian as I am, right? <laughs> So what I'll be doing here is setting up a buffered ledge grab. If you don't know what that is, go watch my facts and glitches series. But it's, uh, I'm just doing the things, alright? Uh... Okay. Basically what I'm doing is I'm storing a climb animation. And then using it later to, uh, warp myself. Did I get it? Oh, well, I had to walk a little bit there, but it was still pretty good. At least the thing happened, you know? Even if it's not perfect, I'm just happy when things kind of go the way that I want them to. Keep in mind, of course, I didn't find these strats. She doesn't want to die, chat. Neither do I. Have I ever found new strats? Oh yeah, heaps. This entire run is littered with stuff that I found. Just stuff that is nowhere near as impressive as that. So I need to go in first person here. So, I'll be trying to throw a C4 through the bottom of this truck here. We got contact. Come on. And... Failing. Okay, okay. Ah, you're kidding. Uh, okay. Uh, I've never had it fail that many times before. So I'm just gonna not deal with it. In practice, worked first try every time. Was I aiming at the wrong dot? I don't know. Whatever. So I'm setting up a, uh, hospital warp here. What I'm doing is I'm killing Michael and then, uh, dying during the mission fail screen. Technically, I don't need to do that because I'm just doing the segment. But if I was doing a full run, I'd want that to happen, so I'm doing it. Because I'm just as much doing the speed run as I am practicing for the full run. Oh, you put okay, you can actually shoot too fast. I did not know that. Okay. That's embarrassing. You gotta learn stuff sometimes, chap, by failure. Uh, wait. Okay. So, switching to Michael here is less about killing people and more about uh, making it so he has weapons. If you switch to him, the game gives him like a bunch of grenades and he doesn't lose weapons at the end of the section. Why are you so slow? God damn it. How'd you get up there? How'd you get up there? Oh, need, okay, need, need to set up, um, thing here. Okay. So this is another buffered ledge grab. Why are you shooting at me? It's over, you lost. So I will be driving far enough away to destroy this garbage truck and then warping myself back. Or rather, warping myself away from the area. Like, you can go anywhere, you don't need to go in that direction. But it's just where I set up my warp. Um... Okay. 
Nailed it. Cool. Did not get my sub 115 as I hoped. It's a damn shame. I guess as long as I know the strats, I won't bother doing the stuff that uh, you technically need to do for later sections. Ah, uh, you meant to hit the wall there to be a little bit faster. See, I'm warping the hospital here. Like, that's for if I continued after this point, but I'm not going to. Where does this put me on the leaderboards, chat? 11th? Dang. I did lose a ridiculous amount of time to the Turk Trapper. But obviously, like, I lost a lot of time to break boosts everywhere as well. And sure, I did need to wait for Meriwether and Assassination as well, which did keep a lot of time. I'm tired. Bye-bye. Boop.